Hello. 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 Are you ready for us to rummage through? Yes, come on, come on! <laughs> the show that helps people find the hidden treasure in their home. Oh, look at this. Wow. My mum would love it. Ooh, cash. To find the valuables in the clutter, our expert appraisers leave no corner unexplored in their search for auction room gems. Oh, there's plenty of stuff in here to look at. This is a proper rummage. <laughs> Some finds are a total surprise. Oh my goodness! Wow. How much? It's rather exciting, isn't it? <laughs> Some are unwanted. Yeah, they're quite freaky, aren't they? Chucky. <laughs> <laughs> and others are hard to part with. Is it something that you'd think about selling? I don't think I would. <laughs> Our appraisers' expert valuations will help people decide to sell or not to sell. We would put an estimate of three to five hundred. Mm -hmm. I think you should, Mum. I think it's worth nearly a thousand pounds. Really? Yeah. Eileen? It's definitely going. We don't want any of it back. Then it's off to the auction to see if they can raise the money to make a dream come true. Main piece, 50s bid. Oh. Hold on, 110. Oh, you bid it, you bid it. 600, nothing like a bit of tension. Oh, I've got goosebumps. On the phone. 32 now online and we've done... Astonishing. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> astonishing. Sold. <laughs> oh, Cassandra, are you OK? <laughs> yeah. Cash in the Attic. We're on our way to meet today's treasure hunters, Anna and Steve in Derbyshire. Yeah, we, we quite liked each other when we were in lockdown. We, we did loads together and it yeah. was really, really nice. We've got the camper van and we like to go on like little weekends away or we've been away to Scotland. Anna works for a housing association, while Steve is a health and safety manager for a construction company, which is handy as Anna can be a bit accident prone. I hired um, a van. Backed it into the house. <laughs> yeah, backed it into the house. <laughs> And broke the fascia board off the top of the garage. Steve yeah. said, you've knocked the house down. You've knocked the house down, Anna. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going? You've knocked the house down, up. Yeah. Yeah. I fixed it. They've been together quite some time. We've been together for 20... 1995. Is it? So it's 27 years this year, then, isn't it? Is it? If you add up, yeah, it is, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. So, so in, it, yeah, it'll Got be 27 less. years or so this year, so it's a long time. And um, But never, it's just dead easy, isn't it? Like, yeah. So we just get on all right and... Um, Let each other get on with it, don't we, really? Recently, Steve and Anna had a clear out when they knocked through the kitchen, combining it with the garage. Steve made me declutter, so everything's hidden in cupboards or the attic. We've got um, stuff that we've accrued ourselves over the last sort of 20-odd years of being together. It's just stuff that it'll probably never go out in the house. Mm. I'm quite sentimental, so there's a lot of stuff um, that we probably wouldn't get rid of. Most of the things that are in our loft, we'll never use it, never do anything yeah. with it, so it'd be nice to think that it went towards something that's actually going to be of value and we'll mm. be able to see the benefit of it. With any luck in our rummaging, we can get all the right numbers, but the time our day is over. If anyone can uncover the treasure buried in this home, it's appraiser David Fergus. No two days are the same. Every day in this job, I'll see something that I've never seen before. I love it. You go home with a smile on your face. David and Jules will need to get their motors revving today. Steve and Anna are planning to spend the auction proceeds on getting daughter Jessica driving lessons. Yeah. Can't wait for the yeah. first lift to the pub. <laughs> I think that's going to be one of, my, like, one of the most exciting things I think I'll have had for years and years and years, is my first <laughs> lift to the pub off Jessica. Uh, well, the lift home will be better. <laughs> Cash in the attic. Jules drives up to Steve and Anna's house. With all the ground to cover, they'll need to keep the pedal to the metal to keep this rummage on the road. Morning, David. Good morning. 
Happy birthday, mate. Oh, is that all for me? I I'm afraid it's not. You've got to share it with Steve. It's his birthday too. Two in one day? Yeah, I oh. even thought. What are the chances? It's a fantastic start to the day. I think it can only get better. Well, Steve and Anna have got a house full of gear, including an attic, which is apparently chock full of stuff. Fingers crossed there'll be enough in here to get Jessica those driving lessons she needs. Come on. Let's go. Let's see if they can get the kettle on. Maybe we can have some cake. Smiling, Anna opens the front door. Good morning! Hello, 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 nice to see you. Good morning. Hello, Steve. Oh, hello. Happy birthday, oh, thank mate. Thank you very much. Cheers. But well, you've got to share it with him, because it's oh. also his birthday. Oh, oh happy yeah. birthday. Thank you very much. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you. Uh, there you go. Oh, oh, there yeah. you are. Perfect. Fantastic. There's lots to discuss. There is lots to find. Should we get rummaging? Yes. yes. Come yes. on, Come on in. Cheers. <laughs> Appraiser David heads out to start the hunt in the bedroom. But what's the target number for the rummage today? So this is all about Jessica and uh, trying to get her on the road. So how much do you think you might raise from the sale of your items? £500 would be great, and that's a massive chunk towards what we want to spend. Anything above that would be absolutely fantastic. Yeah. I think we're going to have lots of little bits that you'll be able to put together. So it's going to be really interesting to yeah. see, see what, what we get like. Um. I mean, I think the truth is, if it's worth something and you don't want it anymore, get so, rid yeah. yeah, absolutely. David's been searching in the attic and he's off to a cracking start. I found a knockout lot here. Hey! 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 Nice. <laughs> so, I might just have a chat about these. Yeah. yeah. Right, so I found oh. the, the, the boxing glove. It's got some signatures on there and I was trying to work out who they were. And then I found the photograph. We've got Richie Woodhall and we've got Steve Collins here. Both of these people were world champions in their day. So what's the story behind this, then? It was a charity event that the place I work for put together um, to make money for Tamworth Boxing Club. I mean, what did you end up spending on this? I think it was about £80. Pounds was it? That, yeah, that we donated to charity. The good thing about this for me is we've got the glove which has got the signatures on. We've got the photograph that's also signed yeah. by... Richie and Steve, and the, the signatures match. So whoever buys the glove at auction, if you send the photograph with it, that will convince them that this is the real thing and it's not just something that somebody's got a black marker pen out and scribbled a few signatures on there. But I guess, you know, sporting memorabilia, there's lots of it around, isn't there? There is. If you get people like Muhammad Ali, he signed so many things. People would think that Ali, if you've got a signature of him, it's probably worth a lot of money, but he's, he signed everything. Uh, well, there are probably far fewer signatures of these boxes around. So actually, this is probably worth more than an Ali signature. Ali oh, wow. signature is probably only worth five to ten pounds. No. Yeah. I'm, I'm astonished at that. Yeah, I'm I am. Yeah. yeah. You think you spent eighty pounds? I mean, what do you think this would achieve now, then, Dave? Uh, I think at auction, you're look, probably looking at thirty to forty pounds at auction. Yeah, that's great. With thirty to forty quid, are we happy to let it go? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Yeah, sure. that's yeah, fine. Yeah. And if we get your signatures on it, it may be forty, fifty. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> With a potential forty pounds banked towards their five hundred pound target, Anna and Steve's treasure hunt is off to a great start. Ooh. Jaws finds a jewelry box, but it's empty. We just need to make sure this rummage doesn't go off course. <laughs> this is Cash in the Attic, the show that helps people find the hidden treasure in their home to sell at auction and make a dream come true. There's lots to discuss, there is lots to find. Should we get rummaging? Yes, yes. Come, on come on in. We're in Derbyshire with appraiser David Fergus, treasure hunting with Anna and Steve. Uh, well, we haven't got a lot now because Steve made me declutter, so everything's hidden. They want to raise some money to put towards driving lessons for their daughter, Jessica. £500 would be great. Anything above that would be absolutely fantastic. With an estimated £40 already in the pot, this rummage is off to a solid start. And if we get your signatures on it, it may be 40, 50, who knows? <laughs> <laughs> but there's still a lot of treasure hunting to be done. It's all so perfect. Look, even, even that's perfect. The, the remotes are all in the right place. It's all so organised. My suspicion, therefore, is that the best stuff is higher up. 
Up in the loft, Steve is digging deep to find things that survived their last clear out. Steve comes up the loft ladder. Hi. Hello, mate. How are you? All right. Now then, this has intrigued me. Dave and I spotted this earlier. This really pretty looking home. Oh, yes. A honer. Yeah, that's, um, that was my dad's. I believe he got it in Germany. Did he? Um, while he was based over there when he did his national service in the early 60s. Um, and then brought it home and started playing it and my mum was saying, what you brought that home for? <laughs> like, yeah. So who bought him the, the book, Teach Yourself to Play Harmonica? He would have bought that himself, believe me, yeah. Yeah, it, it's ended up just staying in the box and it's actually, it looks almost like could be new condition almost, isn't it? Well, it, it's clearly really never been used. Yeah. I mean, it, and it's a really lovely thing. This inlay is really nice, a sort of almost tortoiseshell sort of illusion, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and there's this little lever on the end. I've no idea what that does. That presumably changes the pitch. Yeah, it'll change the, yeah, the tune of them, yeah. So the air coming out will be released through there, the different noises, and that will obviously change the pitch coming through them. Can you play it? No. I don't even know if I've ever even had a go. Have you never? I don't think so, no, not that I remember. There's your chance. So <laughs> do we just blow through there? Yeah. <laughs> There we go. I think you need that. <laughs> <laughs> but it is a nice thing. David thinks it's probably between 20 and 30 pounds. The nice thing is it's in the original box. I'm happy for that to go, yeah. Great. Sound. Well, hopefully somebody will be able to master it uh, and do it justice, but yeah, yeah, it's a nice thing. Cool, right, let's cool. take that. David's been in the shed rummaging and he's uncovered something that's a little out of place. Hello. Hi there. Anything. Ah. <laughs> I found this great piece of solid oak furniture. Ah. I was expecting to see a load of junk in there, as you <laughs> usually find, and yeah. then I see a high-quality oak bookcase. It's <laughs> it's fantastic. <laughs> it's a, it's a crying shame to see it full of boots and petrol cans, isn't it? Really. <laughs> About 20 years ago, it would probably be, we bought furniture for our previous house and it all matched. And now we've really only got room for the dining table. So there's a huge solid oak bookcase that we've got no use for. Didn't really want to get rid of it, to be fair, but it just doesn't go. Mm. So um, I can, I can anywhere, easily put some shelves up there if it's of any value and we can, we can get rid of it. But there was also this mirror. It's a nice thing. Yeah, it's definitely got some presence. I mean... What do you think? Worth taking? Definitely worth taking. What I like about it is it's got a contemporary look. So do you remember what you would have paid for the whole lot back in the day? I think that mirror was getting on for 300 and the bookcase was like about six or seven hundred pound on its own, wasn't it? And these would we would have kept, but it's just they don't there isn't a place for no. them anymore. So what do you think these might achieve at auction then, David? Well at auction, I think for the two, you're probably only looking at around fifty to seventy pounds, which I know doesn't sound like a lot. But at the moment, they're just unloved, out of yeah. sight. I'd love to think you'd get more for them, you know, because they are nice things. And as I say, plenty of people now looking to furnish things, you know, much more affordably. Out. Yeah, Brilliant. that's, that's great. That. I'm quite happy to go for the gamble in the auction. It's more fun, more exciting. Yeah. <laughs> that, yeah. That's, that's what we yeah. like to hear. That's the spirit, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Good stuff. Well, yeah, nice to see them. And, yeah, fingers crossed, they do yeah. even better on the day. Yeah, hopefully, yeah. That's £70 more toward their target. Back downstairs, something's caught David's eye, and it's something very dear to Anna's heart. I saw this wedding dress hanging up on the, the back of the door here, so yeah. let's just have a look at this. He unzips the bag. Right, Gosh. the happiest day of your life. Yep. Tell me about it. We had a chocolate fountain on the wedding day and um, it's <laughs> still got splatters on it from the day there. This was bought from um, a shop in Chesterfield. I settled on this one and just absolutely loved it. I just love the colour of it. And I can see we've got a little... Oh, that was Jessica's. Yeah. So that's what Jess was wearing. Yeah, yeah, and again, look, she had fun at the chocolate fountain. It's, it's just kind of been put away and we've, we've uh, never really got them out again. So you're happy for us to send this to auction for you? It, it has literally been sat in the loft since uh, the day I, I wore it, so I, I think let somebody else get uh, some wear out of it. You paid, I think you said, around about £400 for it. Do you think we should send it to be cleaned first? <laughs> <laughs> that, that, in the auction world, they always say, don't clean anything. Whoever buys this, I imagine, is going to do some alterations. It may yeah. not fit them exactly, so they will send it to be altered, they'll have it cleaned, 
so then they know that it's fresh and ready to go. So mm. I don't think I'd worry too much about cleaning it. Just send it as it is. Uh, we've got, I mean, there's loads of fabric here. Yeah, so the, there is. There's plenty of option and scope for uh, doing alterations. It's like a, a silk type uh, material, isn't it? And we've yeah, got the underskirts and it's got all to the give it some volume. The buttons are just to hang, you know, the loop on for the train. Yeah, so we. So if, you take if we it undo off, that from off the button, and then yeah, the it's full got flowers. Back, and the, the whole length of the, tr the dress drops down. And then when you've had your meal and it's time to hit the dance floor when you've had a, and have a dance and a party, you hook it up so you can just crack on and have a good time. That's exactly what I did. We see wedding dresses at auctions all the time. Typically a wedding dress like this is going to sell for about 30 or 40 pounds, mm -hmm. which compared to how much you pay doesn't sound a lot, but right. send it to auction, let somebody else enjoy it, uh, and that somebody else can have their big day. Yeah. OK, yeah, you've convinced me, Dave. Let's put it in. Cash in the attic. Adding in the wedding dress, David's estimated valuations add up to £180. It's a start, but it's still short of their £500 target. Perhaps the attic will throw up some extra fines. I should have known you'd be up here. Oh, Beat yeah. me to it, mate. <laughs> what about this, then? A little old... Handicam. I mean, goodness me, that's a bit of TV history right there. We don't really use these anymore, does anybody? Not these days. Everybody uses a smartphone. So, do you think that is sellable at all? At auction, it's probably only worth five to ten pounds, maybe. Which, when you take into account the lotting fees, which people need to be aware of, yeah. to enter something into an auction, you need to pay money. Uh, it's, uh, it's uneconomical. You would have to put that with something else. Back downstairs, Anna has another item of sentimental value to her, something that's familiar to ex-serviceman David. Well, this is all my dad's Navy stuff. There, you've got... That's the original paper, look. The Belle Panouse, November 1969. Right. And there's Dad, look. Oh, he's a handsome chap. He was, wasn't he? Um, so he was a member of a small meteorology team. He was 22 in that picture. So we've got this little booklet, HMS Eagle, which is the, the ship that was mentioned in, yeah. the, in the newspaper that we had there. And I'm guessing this would have been issued to all new people that were joining the ship. It launched 1942, so during the war, it's a wartime yeah. ship. It was recommissioned 1964. This just tells the, all the sailors all the information. The important thing here, amenities, welfare and recreation where the bars are and what time the opening hours are. And then we've got this little book here, 1958 dated. This is all to do with airframes and aircraft. So if it was an aircraft carrier, for example, mm -hmm. so the mechanics uh, and engineers and technicians would have a copy of this book. This is what you would call the Bible, really. Fascinating. Mm -hmm. Right, this is a typical sort of thing that military people have. In my loft, I've got boxes full of this type of stuff. At auction, these are probably worth 30 to 40 pounds. Yeah. So it just depends whether you think the sentimental value outweighs the financial value. Yeah, I'd say it, in that scenario, then the sentimental value far outweighs that. So I'll, I'll keep them and they won't go to auction. Right, and as an auctioneer, sometimes you, you really desperately want things to come to auction. And sometimes you think, I hope they don't send that to auction yeah. because of the family connection. Anna's decided to hang on to her dad's books, but as we're not even halfway to the £500 target, this rummage needs a big ticket item to turn up. After getting back from college, daughter Jessica's been having a rummage of her own and pulled out something that might help boost the pot. It is, Jessica. What have you got there? Well, I found a coin that my nanny gave to me, and I believe it's actually a gold coin. Oh. Oh, we like gold, especially at the moment. <laughs> she said, in about 60 years, it might be worth something. So, to save it, and I hear gold's doing quite well at the minute, so... <laughs> it's doing really well at the moment. Now, she said, I keep it for a few years. Yeah. But you need the money now, don't you? I do. <laughs> I really do. <laughs> <laughs> right. OK. <laughs> so, 
if this was actually worth anything today, do you think she would, she'd mind if you sold it? I think she'd be completely OK with it, because it'll, you know, it'll contribute to me and what I need, so she'd be more than happy to. What, what exactly have we got there? It's a lovely thing. What it is, it's a gold bullion sovereign. It's actually 22 karat gold. Mm. Every year they do a new edition sovereign. Uh, they're produced by the Royal Mint, which is in Lantricent in Wales. Uh, they're all dated, so this one is dated 2000, so it's a, it's a millennium coin. They call it a limited edition, but there's 250,000 of them, so Not that. there's plenty of them in circulation. Now, normally, that would mean if there's lots of them about, it doesn't really have that much value. But it's gold. So this little coin is always going to be worth its weight in gold, right. which is where that phrase comes from. So it's worth however much gold is worth today, that's its value. Okay. And gold price goes up and it goes down, depends on the stock markets and world events. Right. At the moment, gold is doing very well. It's so, nice so, David, what do you think? The price of a sovereign, the actual auction price of a sovereign today, the estimate would be 250 to 300 pounds. Wow. 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 For one little coin. <laughs> There's just over six driving lessons in that wow. coin. <laughs> I can't <laughs> It would be an ideal time to sell, I think. OK. That's good. <laughs> that Very is. nice to hear. Her grandmother's gold coin will make a whopping contribution to the fund. But can we beat Steve and Anna's target of £500? Because Jessica's driving licence is at stake. Jaws is back in the loft. Even the attic is tidier than most. This is Cash in the Attic, the show where we help people find the hidden treasure in their home. That's the original paper look. And there's Dad. Well, he's a handsome chap. He was, wasn't he? Jules and expert appraiser David Fergus have been hunting for things to sell at auction with Steve, Anna and daughter Jessica in Derbyshire. I found this great piece of solid oak furniture. Yeah. This super tidy family hoped to raise £500 to put towards daughter Jessica's driving lessons. The estimate would be £250 to £300. Wow. Pounds. There's just over six driving lessons in that wow. coin. <laughs> How close are they to getting Jessica on the road? Birthday, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are at last. Go, you can blow half out. There you go, mate. There. Hey. We need to draw this rummage to a close, don't we, David? We do. We've got some of the items that we've looked at here. Main thing is that have you found this a useful process? I loved it. Yeah, it's yeah. been a great day. Great day. Yeah. I mean, even just hearing about the Navy stuff from your talks and that, you know, we would have never, ever have known. It has been good fun, isn't it? What, your favourite item of the day, David? My favourite item for me as an ex-military man has got to be the naval stuff. It's such a fascinating period in naval history and to think that your dad was a part of it. But, you know, some lovely items as well. The mouth organ, of course, there. But also a few surprises, I think it's fair to say. Now then, Mum and Dad, you don't know about the little gold sovereign... The tiniest thing on the table. <laughs> ..that Granny gave her. Yeah. Now, we were aiming towards a figure of £500, we hoped, and I think it's fair to say you weren't quite sure if we'd get there. No. However, would you like to tell Mum and Dad what your coin could be worth? As an estimate at auction, Dave said it's between two fifty to three hundred pounds. Oh wow. my God! Okay. <laughs> neck. That's a surprise. <laughs> oh, well, I'm got, I didn't even know we had it. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be a good, a good chunk it towards will. your driving It'll lessons. Be... A good day's work. Yeah. yeah. A very nice day's work. Yeah, and, um, yeah. Thank goodness you came back from school yeah. when you did, because without that gold coin... Yeah, we wouldn't have made it. Well, I would have forgot I even had it. <laughs> <laughs> Given everything that we've looked at, you could be looking at an estimate at auction, for everything combined, at somewhere between £420 and £540. Oh, that's brilliant. Fantastic. Well, that's... Yeah, yeah. Brilliant. yeah. 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 Yeah, Fantastic. yeah, wow. great stuff. Yeah. yeah, there's a bit of time between the end of the rummage today and when the van will arrive, so you can continue rummaging, keep looking because you never know what you might find. Okay, yeah. brilliant. Okay, Thank you. and with any luck, David, we could make a real dent in that £500 target as a contribution to your driving lessons. I mean, I am 
over the moon. Thank you so much. We've had a lot of fun with you, Mum and Dad, Jessica, and it's been lovely to meet you. So we will leave you to enjoy the rest of your birthday. Mm -hmm. And if you're very lucky, I might take you for a pint. Fantastic. Let's go. <laughs> Come on. Come on, then. A great result at the last minute. The gold sovereign means the rummage total is looking good for their target of £500. Guys, thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, thank Cheers. you. We've loved yeah, it. it's been Brilliant. a great day. Well, fingers crossed we'll get you where you need to be. Enjoy your evening. Yeah, well, thank you. And you too. Yeah, happy birthday. Well thank, thank you very much. Yeah, See you later. Bye. See you Bye. later. Cheers. Bye. Thank you. Well, another year older. Another year wiser. I don't know about that, Jules. <laughs> it's been a fab day, hasn't it? A bit disappointed, though, with some of the items. I mean, I'm so shocked that that coin was worth it. Well, yeah. It's just a good job. You came back when you did. Wait to tell them, really. Yeah. You've saved the day. Wait. It saved the day, Jessica, yeah. 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 Probably the most different birthday I've ever had. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Happy birthday. Well, there were some squeaky moments there. I really wasn't sure if we were going to get anywhere close to that £500 target. But you know what? Jessica and that fabulous coin saved the day. Cash in the attic. The car park of an auction house. Anna and Steve's Hall will be auctioned at Littleton's in Worcestershire. The bids are at £20. 22 comes back to me at 25. 28, I'm going to sell it. Sold at 28. Barry Homer set up this auction house in the early 1980s. And today, grandson Ben continues the family tradition. I've been auctioneering for about 10 years, uh, but I've been involved in the auctions all my life. With me in the room at £12,000. My auctioneering stars, I suppose, come from my granddad and my dad. I used to sit with my granddad from the age of five years old and spot for him. Ben will be conducting the sales at the auction, drumming up interest from potential buyers in the hope that they bid big. Meanwhile, in Derbyshire, Anna, Jessica and Steve are packing up the items going to auction. <laughs> Never been to an auction ever before, so I'm quite looking forward to it as just an experience. Hopefully there's a lot of rich people there on the day that are desperate for a load of low value items. <laughs> to help them make their target, they've added some extra things that David hasn't appraised. We have added a coffee set. My mum gave it to us to keep, but we're not keeping it. And um, it's it's potentially 70, 80 years old, but it never ever gets used, it just sits in a box. And they've included several other items that have been tucked away in the attic. Gustafsson print of pan, which we bought a few years ago for about 350 quid. Doesn't really go with this house, we bought it for the other house. So it sits in the loft, gathering dust, and it's going to the auction to hopefully give us a little bit back on our investment. Pass it under. Go around here. Mum, that's just completely pointless. <laughs> As the family pack up the last of the items, there's an item Anna's unsure about letting go of. We've been through all the box and everything, so we're quite happy with everything that's going. But on the day, I'm still wondering how I'll actually feel when my wedding dress goes. So we'll just have to wait and see, really. Anna's wedding dress might mean the difference between hitting the target or not. Cash in the attic. <laughs> Two weeks later, and all of Steve and Anna's items have been photographed, catalogued and displayed to catch the eye of potential buyers. The day of the auction has finally arrived. Wake up, Jules. You can't spend all day some. Oh, we, mate. We've got work to do. What a fine day we've got here at Littleton's in the heart of the Vale of Evesham. Great place for an auction house. Uh, but, yeah, much excitement, I suspect, uh, for uh, Steve, Anna and for Jessica. Obviously, the Gold Sovereign was a winner on Rummage Day, but there's some yeah. other items, Steve, that hopefully will do quite well. Yeah, I've got high hopes for the, uh, the boxing glove, if you remember. Yes, of course. Well, it's all going to a great cause, Jessica's driving lessons, but we've got a bit of time before they get here. Should we see what else is for sale? That's what I love about auction day. Yeah, let's go and have a rummage. They head for the sale room. Before Anna, Jessica and Steve arrive, there's just time to take a look around and see what else is up for sale today. 
Now, this is a nice thing, David. I absolutely love it. And with everybody working from home now, a double-sided desk, surely this has got to be popular. Not in my house. <laughs> no, I, the last thing I want is to be working from home with my wife. As lovely as she is. I think in the trade, known as a partner's desk, because, yes. you know, you could sit either side of it. But what I, what I noticed about this one, it's lovely. Inside it is this little sticker that says, War Emergency, and it's apologising for the fact that they've got a, a, a put a plywood base in the drawers. And I love the fact that they felt it necessary to actually you know, make the point to the customer that actually it's not as perfect as it might be. Yeah, and apologise for it. And I think it's really interesting. For a substantial piece of furniture, but it's a nice thing. I think it's a bit really. of history behind it as well. Yeah. At this auction, there are plenty of items with a professional past. The oak bookcase and mirror. Now, this sort of thing, I love. That kind of industrial, upcycled look. It is, of course, a film or stage light. In here? You could place different kind of gels, etc., to change the colour of the light. This one looks like it's been shot blasted. Somebody's had a go at kind of restoring it. Whether it works or not, goodness only knows. But if you're in the film business, things like this are a sort of must have, really. The auction's about to start. All we need now is the arrival of our would be driver, Jessica, and her dad and mum, Steve and Anna. Here they are. Hiya. Hiya. <laughs> a nice family day out. It is. We a hope. Yeah. A shiny day. And with any luck, a profitable family day out. Fingers crossed. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. We are crossing everything. It will all help to get you, Jessica, on the road. Yeah. Hopefully sooner rather than later. <laughs> now, it's a beautiful day, but the auction is about to start. We'll say goodbye to the sun for a little while and see how we do. Yeah. Go on, Brilliant. Come on. In you go. No time to waste. As well as the bidders in the sale room, there are potential buyers around the world, online and on the phone. Staff at the auction house will be handling the remote bids. The first item up for sale is the harmonica that David valued at 20 to 30 pounds. Lot 179, we've got the Honor Harmonica. There it is. Together with Teach Yourself to Playbook. Ben tells me he's got a bit of interest in it. Oh, lovely. Uh, we've got an estimate of 20 to 30 quid. Yeah. He thinks we could go an extra 10, 20 on top of that. Ooh. It'd be nice to think we get a nice round yeah, 50 quid. Yeah, 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 yeah uh, fingers crossed. Well, I've got commission interest in this one and I am in at £28. Ooh. Ooh. The bids are me at £28. 30 comes back to me at 35. 35 pounds, are we all in? And fair warned at 35 pounds. 35. There, you go. Yeah, there we are. are. Genuine oh, cash in the attic. Yeah. Genuine, <laughs> that's where it was sat for about the last 10 years. <laughs> the harmonica fetches 35 pounds, beating its estimate. 20 bid, thank you, at 20 pounds in the room. The next lot is a collection of watches and jewellery that Anna, Steve and Jessica added after the rummage day. 22 on the web now. 25 yeah, in the yeah. room. Five. 25, is it 28 anywhere? Sold. Oh. There you are. 25 quid. That mixed lot sold for £25. A framed fantasy print is next up for auction. Stop me at £20, please. 20. 20 to start me there, surely. Please. Come on. Go on. It was 350 oh. quid. <laughs> 10, any interest? Oh. 10 or a pass? This could be going back in the attic. Oh, no, yeah. it could. Oh, it can't come home. <laughs> Sorry, pass on. <laughs> <laughs> Anna and Steve's art purchase hasn't set the auction alight. We've got wonderful taste, haven't we? <laughs> <laughs> so far, their target of £500 feels a long way away. But next up are the boxing gloves, which Dave thinks stand a good chance of finding a buyer. Now then, Dave, the boxing gloves. You rather like these, didn't you? I that, did, yeah. And, and the story behind them. Signed by a couple of good boxers, good British boxers, yeah. both champions in their day. Yeah, and they get a picture of me and Steve phone in. <laughs> exactly. That might well, be the actual value item. Well, yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> a lot, 184. We've got a signed boxing glove together with a signed photograph of uh, Steve Collins and Richie Woodall. 30 to start me there, 30 bed, thank you. Oh, oh, really? oh yeah. At 30, looking for 35 now. Room or net? Come on, it's rare. At 30 pounds, is it 35 anywhere? I'm going to call it then, going once, twice at 30. Gavel's up. Sold at 30. Oh, brilliant. 30 right. quid. Out yeah. in round one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Overall, so far, Anna and Steve have netted 90 pounds. 
<laughs> I think the picture scared the bidders off. Well. <laughs> how dare, how rude. <laughs> This auction is not quite off to the turbocharged start they were hoping for, but there are a whole lot of lots to go. This is Cash in the Attic, the show where we help people find the hidden treasure in their home to make a dream come true. 25, is it 28 anywhere? So oh, there you are. 25 quid. That's but... all right. Steve, Anna and daughter Jessica have already banked £90. Next up for auction, something that Anna's very attached to. A wedding dress. I know. I mean, surely this is a bit of a moment, isn't it? It is, yeah. So I have put a reserve on it. 30, I think. That seems cheap, doesn't it? We, it pounds. does, but I just thought if it doesn't go... I don't mind if I take it back home. But it's interesting. I mean, is there much of a market for, for sort of second-hand wedding dresses, do you think? There is. The problem is cleaning them. So it costs about 100 quid to clean a wedding dress. And so that tends to keep the price down at auction. But it just gives another bride the chance to have a special day. If they can't afford a £1,000 for a wedding dress, yeah. Yeah. come to an auction, spend 30, 40 quid, and you can look a million dollars on your wedding day. And that's what it's all about. Well, let's hope we get towards a million dollars for your well, lovely yeah. wedding dress, Ella. Here it comes. Uh, lot 140, we've got the wedding dress together with the child's bridesmaid's dress. I'm looking for £30 to start me here, please. Come on, it's got to be worth 30, surely. Surely. Come on. Come on. Got to be 30, folks. Any interest at 30? Oh, come on. <laughs> no, I'm going to have to pass oh, folks. No. No, so I have to pass on that one. Don't mind. Do you know, no, I was then. just going to say, actually, this could be a result. One, yeah. yeah. You know, I think you look more relieved <laughs> as well. <laughs> With no sale on the wedding dress, can the next series of lots, which David hasn't valued, make up for it? Tommy, at £20, please. 22 now. 25 on platform one now. Are we all in and fair warned at 25. Sorry? It's, start, it, yeah. it's, it's more cool. than we expected. Nearly yeah. a driving lesson. Is it yeah. about half a driving lesson, yeah. that? Next, it's the pocket watch. At 20 Come on, pounds. a little bit more. Oh, in then and fair oh. one. 20 pounds. Oh, oh well, I'd have paid yes. 30 for it. Yeah. Just to go there. <laughs> <laughs> then a silver pocket watch. Going once, going twice. <laughs> Sold at 28. Yes. 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 Brilliant. Then there's the Japanese tea set. <laughs> the Japanese export wear, so they're made for the, the British market. So consequently, there's lots and lots of them around. I see them all the time. But is it worth anything? Ten pounds to start me there. A little biscuit Come barrel's on. worth that. No interest at ten, quick as you can. Oh, can I go five? Yeah. Yep. Five pounds for it. <laughs> then the five bid. Yes. Five bid. <laughs> Thank you. At five on the net. Is it six anywhere? <laughs> Six, surely. Come on. Is it six anywhere? <laughs> six bid, thank you. It's six oh, bid. Yeah. 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 At six yeah. looking for seven now. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been That's six so pounds and with me in the room. Good six, course, six, seven anywhere? Are you sure? So I'm going to take it home. <laughs> you probably use more than six bids with a bubble wrap. Yeah. <laughs> Not the money spinner they were looking for. Can the oak furniture and mirror that was valued at 50 to 70 pounds add a sizable amount to their pot? Dime in 100 pounds, please. Surely. Come on, that's cheap. 50 to start me then. We really don't want to be taking this home because no, this is big, it's lumpy it's stuff, it's, isn't it? Yeah. It's dead heavy as well. It won't fit in a minute no. now. Starting at 50, come on, surely. Go 30 for it then. Oh, oh come God. On. For the mirror and the bookcase, this is, folks. Oh, you do it for Surely 30 pounds. Surely. Quality, solid oak Come on. It is a big mirror, yeah. I'm at 30. Yeah, nice. Hey! <laughs> Thank you. 35 now. I mean, you were just for the mirror, at wouldn't you? 35. Yeah. With me on the net at 35 now. Come on. 35 anywhere? Come on. But the good news is, mate, it's sold. It's Are we all in? And fair warned at 35. So someone got a bog in there. Our £500 target still feels like a long shot. Don't give up yet. It's never over till it's over. Nearly all the lots have gone to auction and together tot up to £204. But still to go is the gold coin Jessica's nana gave her and it might make all the difference. Now then, Jessica, it's your big moment. Yeah. Because when you got back from college on our rummage day, you suddenly produced out of nowhere this gold coin. Yeah, that I'd forgotten about. Yeah, <laughs> wow. Well, it's 
could make a real investment in your driving lessons. Fingers crossed. Yeah. yeah. What do we think, Steve? Oh, hopefully, yeah, because it is our big value item. So we've got an estimate here, David, of uh, what, 250 to 300. Yeah, Could go higher? Down. I think the 250 end of that is a bit of a common dime, really. Just hedge your bets with gold, it fluctuates up and down. Yeah. I think we're going to get towards the top end. Let's see. Mm. There it is. Oh, here we go, 7 1. <laughs> we have the uh, gold sovereign yes. dated 2000. I have commission interest on this one, and I can start you at £280. Wow. Oh, £280. Brilliant. Straight in. Come Bid on. with me at 280 on come commission, on, on. 290 if you want. Yeah. Come on, 290, come surely. On. Surely. Well, at 290, I'm looking come for 300 on. now. Come on, come on. Please. I'm going to call it then at 290 pounds. Gavel's up. Sold at 290. <laughs> Good. Looks like Jessica's canny grandmother knew what she was doing when she gave her granddaughter that sovereign for a rainy day. It's going to get me a good few driving lessons. Yeah. It yeah. It's added £290 to their target total. Well, team, right. that concludes our auction. Yeah. I think it's safe to say, a couple of disappointments, but overall... Not too bad. Not yeah. too bad. Yeah. You may be surprised. Yeah. Let's have a look. Go on, mate. Off you go. Yeah. After you. Thank you. Cheers. <laughs> Cash in the attic, outside the auction house. So how much have they actually raised at auction today? Well, Steve, when we came to rummage at your home, we helped you celebrate your birthday. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So can we add to the festivities, I wonder? This has all been about you, Jessica, trying to get you safely learning to drive. We were hoping perhaps for maybe yeah. 500 quid at the end of the rummage. Yeah. How do you think we've done then, Jessica? Um... I reckon it'll be just under four. Do you? Yeah. Yeah. Well, Maestro, what do you think? We've exceeded 400. Oh. We're just under five. We're at 489. Okay. Oh, wow, brilliant. Oh. Yeah, that's so good. That's a lot better than we thought, oh, yeah. Awesome. yeah. Yeah. I mean, obviously, you know, the coin did the heavy Saved lifting. Saved the day. Yeah. <laughs> but the other nice thing is that you've been able to have a bit of a sort out and get rid of yeah. all that other yeah. stuff. Yeah. And we've had a great time it's as well. Yeah. We, yeah. yeah. We've, yeah. Been, we've really enjoyed, enjoyed it. it. Guys, I am delighted. We've absolutely got there in terms of what you were hoping for. It's been a real pleasure. Yeah, uh, we wish you all the best of luck. Great to meet you. Thank Thanks you. a lot. Cheers. Thanks. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm like over the moon that we've raised this money to spend on lessons. And I like the fact I've contributed towards it as well with my coin. We're chuffed to bits with yeah. that because every little helps, doesn't it? So, yeah. And it was nice when things sold and you kind of thought, oh, well, that's one driving lesson been a really good day all round today, but the whole experience has been fantastic, hasn't it? Well, that went quite well, I thought. I think it did. We had a good total in the end, I think. And a few items going home, but actually, you know, that's the way of auctions, isn't it? It is. The ups and downs. You win and lose at auctions, and today, overall, they come out on top. Well, I'm delighted, mate. Well done. You happy? Yeah, I'm happy. Come on, let's go. Jaws and David walk away. Cash in the attic. One month later, Jessica has started her driving lessons. She gets into a car. My driving lessons are going really well. I'm really enjoying it. My instructor's great and it's just good fun. L-plates on. Jessica drives away. 